Kristen. I'm Kayla. And we are K. And K. Create. Create. Uh, thanks for dropping by. Welcome to our channel. Um, so tonight we are going to be doing uh, pores based on a beautiful color palette that I found on Pinterest. I'm going to flash the picture that I found here. Um, it took quite a while for me to mix up the six colors involved here. About an hour I spent um, basically mixing colors to match as close as possible as I could to this palette because it's so beautiful. Um, so I don't know if Kayla knows what kind of pour she's going to do because I kind of just sprung it on her that we were going to be doing a video. So do you have any idea? Me? Yeah. What are you going to do? Mm -hmm. Open cup. An open cup. Okay. Mm -hmm. I plan to do a Mina Villegas inspired negative space ring pour. So we will see how that comes out. Um, thank you for being here. Um, we'll be right back and we'll gonna we're gonna start painting. You mm -hmm. ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. We're back. And ready to paint. Mm -hmm. Okay, so by now you will have seen our color palette that we chose. And uh, I'm not gonna, we're not going to review all of the paint colors because <clears throat> I took screenshots of them. You should have seen it already. Uh, the paints and pigments that I used to make these colors. But just to do a quick review and show you how they came out, um, we have this goldish light gold yellowish type of color it's um shiny. yeah it's really pretty so that is the lightest color it's metallic and then the next color is a pinky color and that's how that came out like a purple it's purple a, pink it's a light pinky purple and then this one is more like a coral because i see it in the other cup and it looks like yeah. a, like very very light magenta coral and then this is like a deep brick kind of color. Yeah, it looks like a brick. Very pretty. It also looks a little bit like a pink. Then we have this very deep pink. purple. A very, very beautiful pretty. purple. And then we have Payne's Gray. That's Payne's my favorite gray. purple. Correct. All right. Favorite purple. So I've taken a little bit out of the bigger cups and put them into smaller cups for Kayla because she's going to be doing an open cup pour so she can pinch these cups to pour into the cup. And she Wait. wants to have okay. a base Because you just of said paint. pinch the cups to pour into the cup. Well, <laughs> you pinch these cups to the pour open into cup. The, the open, open cup. cup. That's okay. what you meant, okay. So we're gonna do a base of Payne's Gray. So I have a big old cup of Payne's Gray mixed. It's a little bit lighter lighter, thinner um, than the other paints. So I'm going to go ahead and flood the canvas and then Kayla will get started with her open cup. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and flood and we'll fast forward you through this part. Too bad, too bad the controller doesn't work. Yeah, no, it's okay. Yeah, because if they have the product, they'll have to press it. My, my phone isn't even on. It doesn't have to be on yet. True. Not yet. My phone turned off before, but then I just hit button. Yeah. Did you have to change the battery for the controller once? I don't remember, Kayla. Okay, 
It doesn't matter, we're not using it anyway. Okay, so Thank Kayla, you. you have your open cup. Uh -huh. Cup top. Where are you gonna put it? Yes. Hmm. How do you put it? All the way in the top. Mm -hmm. Let's move it in just a little bit, okay? Okay. And I'm going to just pour some of the base color around. Paints around the and cup and then inside. some inside. Yes. I remember. All right. So, I'll pinch your cups for you. Can I actually pour them in? You are going to pour them in, yeah. Yay. How, I'm old enough to pour them you, in now. However you'd like. Go I'm right old ahead. enough to pour them in now. You want to go from high, right? Do you want me to move this a little bit closer to you, or is it okay? Mm. I'd rather move my chair more. You want your chair in more? Yeah. There you yeah. go. Don't go. Oh. Yeah. I'm fine, remember. I'm scared that I'm going to touch this. You're not going to touch it. Okay. You're not going to go that high, not as high as the camera. Good. All right, good start. I'm so glad that I'm not in now. already. I'm glad it's going the way that I was wanting it to go. Uh -huh. This way. Uh -huh. Nope, it's not going the way that I wanted to. That's it okay. To it's going right here. But it's gonna go it's where going it wants over. to go. Yeah. Help it along a little bit by propping a couple of sticks underneath the canvas. Like that. And like that. All right, nice. let's see. Maybe we can coax it to go the other way. All right, keep going. Nope, still going the same way. All right, way. so we'll put another. Two sticks under. Okay. It looks like fireworks. Yeah. I was thinking of rockets for a That's second. It. Yep, still going on the same way. Alright, so we'll move it just tilt. a little bit. Tilt. Come on now. Okay. Oh, it tilt. Ooh, those do that does look like fireworks. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Cool. I'm so glad that I decided to do it all the cup. Yeah. All right, whoa, don't, not too much. <laughs> Easy. I might as well use the rest of it. Well, no, you have a whole more canvas to go. from three to do it. Yeah, I'm just going to tilt this whole 
thing a little bit this way. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Looks well, almost like fireworks. One, two, three. Hmm. Are you gonna fast forward this? I might. Yeah. Cause you usually do. Three, two, one, done. I'm choosing colors faster now. Yeah, yeah. You, you know what you want to do. One, two, three. Ooh. That's what I do now. Scoop under. How do you use this oil? Okay. It's starting to get hot again. Yeah, it's hot under these lights. Yeah. Especially when I'm almost right about the ceiling. Mm -hmm. I meant not ceiling, I meant chandelier. I just put paint girl. I know, but you don't have that much paint left, so I'm just trying to yeah. move it along a little bit. I and hardly have any left. left. Yeah. Tilt it up this way a little bit. Oh, it's already going here. Trying right. to make Go it ahead. Here. I'm just going to hold it a little bit okay. up. I think there's plenty of paint in there. Mm -hmm. Let's now just you're gonna spiral. shot and try to get all of the color that's in there out. I have a question. Yeah. Can I keep on doing the shot paints right until like it gets near the edge? I think that's enough. I think you've got plenty to work with to tilt. So I'm gonna go off this edge here with it. That actually looks nice. I'm not going <laughs> to take that off. I'm, I'm going to try not to. Okay. You want me to torch it? Yes. Ooh. That's a cute little... Those. Why does it smell like somebody's cooking something? Even though it's just the point or whatever it is. Torch. Yes, Maybe torch. Maybe that it, it smells like a stove? <laughs> when you turn, yes. When you turn a stove on? It smells like just when you were cooking before. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Tilt away. Tilt, tilt, tilt. Start going off of this edge. Which edge? This edge. You're going to the side? Mm -hmm. Okay. Turn that up. Remember last time where I did the sides first? Yeah, but that's not, you're going to waste a lot of paint if you do the sides first. Unless you want to leave negative space in the corners. Yeah, I want to leave just, negative space. You right do? Right here. Right here. Right there? Okay. Yeah, because that's where that is, and I do not want to keep that. All right, go, that's cool. That go away. Oh, turn it so that people can see what you're doing. Now, we can't leave too much negative space because you have a lot of paint on there. So you no, definitely... only this part. Okay. Only this spot. Exactly. No other negative space. Okay. Since I just tilted it here. Gonna go here. Sometimes I do it back because I don't know. 
This cute little red cell is there. Okay, I have to. You don't have to. You can I want to. All right, okay. you want to do it Th if you That's want. how I'm going to keep that from. Okay. Let's set it this side. Now remember, all your paint is here. Okay. So, remember that. Yep, see how it's moving? Okay, good. Go off the corner if you want. There's definitely plenty of paint. Okay. Good job. I keep on hitting the cup. Sign came out. Mm -hmm. oh, morning. Morning. I think I got the paint on before by accident. What do you think about this? Awesome. Yeah, you like that with the yes, blue I cells? Love it. I love it. Okay. Plus, it's gray cells because it's because it's seriously called paint gray. Right, but it's kind of like a bluish gray. You don't think maybe you want to take a little bit of that off? Only a little. That looks like a snake, sort of. Yeah. Okay, good. Oh, so take a little bit of that off. Yeah, the I think there's too much there. Right. Too much. Too much. Don't, I just, don't, don't open it up too much because then you're going to make it wider again. I just you stopped take, it at the right time. Yeah, and you take it off, you leave it. Okay, this looks nice. You think that's it? That's the final product? Mm -hmm. Nice. And you're going to leave this negative, little yes. negative space there? Yes, I'm good. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Good enough. Good Try job. not to step inside the paint that I accidentally dropped. Oh, we'll wipe off the paint that Kayla accidentally dropped on the floor. Okay, so we will take you in for a close-up later and I will be up huh? soon to do mine. See you in a bit. Okay guys, so here's Kayla's finished product. It came out so beautiful. I love that all the colors stayed true and didn't muddy up too much. You could still see the pink there and the ivory and these beautiful multicolored cells with the blue. Oh, that's the panes, I guess. And it's very shimmery. That pearl, that ivory color was the Deco Water Americana Decor Metallics in ivory, pearl ivory. And that's really what's helping with this shimmer. Plus there's some piggies in there. The piggies are helping too. Some piggies in the purple and there were some piggies in the coral, which stayed so beautifully. Didn't mix, didn't muddy up. The colors are just so gorgeous. And I love all of the cells that have popped up in here. And our little bit of negative space. But overall, just so beautiful. I love this area here. I'm glad we took a little bit of it off but I'm glad we kept a good portion of that panes with that haze. It's so pretty. And these cells going through, it looks like a, a spine on an x-ray. Of course, the nurse in me would see that, would see a spine. <laughs> but overall, she did a great job and I'm very proud of her. Hey guys, it's Kristen. <clears throat> So I am ready for my painting. Um, I have a 16 by 20 inch um, gallery wrapped canvas here that I've taped and uh, put my push pins in the back. And as you can see, I have painted my sides and my edges with um, Payne's Gray right out of the tube. 
to give better coverage on the sides. I'm planning to do um, leave some negative space and do a ring pour and stretch it out and we'll see how it goes. Um, so you may have noticed, I'm, I'm, I haven't edited this video yet obviously, but we have recently, or Kayla has recently gotten herself a cell phone. So we now have a second phone to film with. So I have set it up um, to film from the side so that we can get a better angle of us pouring. I'm not sure if I have already edited Kayla's pour in from that angle. I probably have. So you may have seen it. But I'm definitely going to do it for my ring pour because I notice that my hand is usually in the way when I'm ring pouring or when I'm pouring and it's hard to see the canvas. So now we have a second camera. I'm going to be using the same colors as she did and in my ring pour um, and my base is going to be paint gray as well. I have mixed up a little bit more so that I can flood my canvas. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So um, for a 16 by 20 inch canvas, you need about 12 ounces of paint. Since I plan to leave at least a quarter to a third of it um, with negative space, I'm probably only gonna pour about eight ounces, eight or nine ounces. So I'm gonna use this cup, it goes up to 300 milliliters, which is a little bit more than three, um, nine ounces. And I'm gonna pour uh, from this cup. All right, so I'm trying, I've been trying to think about how to layer this cup properly. Um, so what goes in first comes out last, which will be the center of my ring. Um, so I think I wanna have it be a little tiny bit of this kind of ivory color with a little bit of panes. And then a little shot of this coral. And then I'm gonna come in with this, with this dark brick color. I'm trying to keep my layers thin here in the bottom. And I'm trying to alternate light to dark. my outer edge. All right, so there's my cup. Okay, so I'm gonna do my ring right in the middle and then stretch it out. All right, wish me luck guys. I am not the best at ring pours, but I'm gonna give it a try. Ooh. Solid five on the dismount. <laughs> I'm definitely going to fix that middle up. 
and let me center myself out here. Okay. I'm wondering if I want to pour it again out of a little cup. I'm definitely not loving that center. It feels like it needs to be a little darker. So I may just pour a little cup. And I'm gonna start with the beige again since there's beige there, but I'm gonna put a little more panes. And I think some of the touch of the pink. And then I'm going to go in with the purple. And a little bit of the coral. Top it off with the beige. So uh, let's see how this goes. Let's try it again. Like Angie says, keep pouring till you're soaring. Okay. Still a little wonky, but I think it's better. Okay. I like that. Can't get started with the porch. Okay, so wow. Let's see, which way do I want to go off first? Let's just, do I want to go this way or this way? Oh my gosh, decisions, decisions. I think I like this. So let's give it a try and see what happens. Try to take it to the edge without going over just yet. definitely like this area the best oh, this is so pretty in here I wish this wasn't such a solid blue but it is what it is that's the paint gray all right so I'm gonna go ahead and go off this edge
still a lot of paint on here. These lines right here are beautiful. These lines right here are beautiful. I still don't love this area. Well, it's growing on me. I want to open these lines up a little bit more though. I'm going to stretch them out without losing too much of my negative space. I like it. I do wish I could open these lines a little bit more. All right, that's enough, that's enough. <laughs> Don't mess with the negative space, Chris. Leave it alone. I'm a tinker. I can't help it. Tinker, tinker, tinker. Ooh, look at that. to the painting. See, that's what you get when you tinker too much. Okay, so it looks like I'll be coming off of this edge a little bit more. negative space ring pour. I'm done. Unfor unfortunate accident aside, um, I'm very happy with the way this came out. I think it looks really pretty. Um, I have some nice lines. I really like my center. Some cells popped up in the area of the Payne's Gray. 
and overall um i think it came out really nice so i hope you liked it i'm gonna go get cleaned up now <laughs> i'll clean up my edges and uh bring you in for a close-up thanks guys okay so i've gone ahead and turned all the lights off it's just the flash from my camera and here's my finished painting let's get up close you can see some of these lines beautiful very shimmery some of these little fingerlings here with that purple color and that panes gives it lots of dimension I'm really glad I re-poured the center because I really like it now. And then the lines held really nicely. Good definition. You could definitely see all the separate colors. Some pretty cells in this area here. Overall, I'm really pleased with how this came out. Although I didn't leave too much negative space, not as much as I thought I would, but I, I think I started out with too much paint. <clears throat> so the next time, uh, less paint. Okay, so that'll do it. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. I'll leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, thanks again. Till next time. Have a good night. Bye.